Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 131. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook. Uh, Magic Tricks 120 to 132. Hey, trick number 131, this is the coolest one in a long time. We have a bunch of containers coming in on a ship. And here we have all the items, and here's the rank of priority. So apples, no matter what container it's in, has to be unloaded first. So we have a list of all the items and the reference number um, for a particular container. And our goal is to first rank these. And then for all of these references here, if there's any one here, we want to put a one here. If there's not, and there's only the, the highest rank is three, then we need to put a three here. Well, first, let's go over and um, rank this right here. Because here's our pears, our apples grapes, etc. So let's just use our view lookup to get the rank from here. And we, we have apples and bananas are first, and then cherries, and then mangoes and oranges are four. So we'll do a V lookup here, equals V lookup. V lookup, and where is our value? I need to click right there, but I can't get to it. So I'm going to hit the uh, right arrow key, comma, and then I need this whole table. The value it's going to look up is in the first column and return it from a second column. Hit F4 to lock it, comma, and the column number is 2, comma, and we need false, which means look up a word. So we put 0. You don't need to put false. And then uh, that formula work, control enter, and then double click and send it down. This double click trick, usually we see stuff on the left, but it also works if stuff's on the um, right. Now we need to. Um, deal with these references. We actually need to have a unique uh, table of references and count how many there are. Sorry. Now, why, why in the world would you need to count how many references there are? Well, let's just look at how, think of how we could do this. I'm going to click Escape. Click right here. What we really want is we want all the formulas here to look here. But notice reference, reference 1, 1, 1, 1, all the way to here. All of these formulas need to be looking at this entire range, right? So we could go like this, equals min, and then highlight this range. And then uh, lock it, and then copy it down only to, to here. Then we'd have to go to the next one and equal min. And highlight, we'd have to count it with our hands. And if we're doing it you know, with our eyeballs, there's always room for error. And then lock it, close parentheses. You get the idea. So that's not a very good way to do it. Control Z, Z. But if we could have the min function, and we could use the offset function. The offset function defines a range. And one of the things the offset function is going to need is how tall is this range right here? Well, we can accomplish that by counting how many there are. Now, um, we have all the references over here in a little table. So let's just do a count if equals count. Count if. And the range is going to be this whole range right here. So I'll click at the top, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4 comma, and then left arrow to get that close parentheses. Control Enter and double click and send it down. All right, so now we have our little table. And we'll have to use that in just a moment. In fact, why don't we name this? So we're going to use it in the middle of, uh, uh, we're going to have to reference this using VLOOKUP in the middle of offset. And there's our table. Let's just call it uh, REFNO. Now, again, we just a moment ago we said that we had the min and we needed this range right here. Well, let's go ahead and start with the min equals min. Well, there's one other um, complication here. How are we going to tell the min when to use the offset and when not? We need to tell the min when it gets down to right here that this is no longer reference 1. It's now in reference 10. So one, one of the cool concepts in, in this video is we'll see how to tell a formula to change uh, part of the formula every time there's a, uh, a change in item. And here's how we'll do it. Equals uh, just if this, and we'll use not, which is less than, greater than, 
this. So what we're saying is if this is not equal to this. Notice when we get down to here, it will be equal to th this will be equal to this. When we're down in this cell, this will be equal to this. So this will come out to be false. But down here, when it's true, this is not equal to this, uh, these two are not equal, then the formula here will know to do the offset. So the logical test is, are these things not equal? Comma, and now let's do our offset. Now the way offset works is you have to say where to start. And we want a relative cell reference, right? Because every time it gets to a change right here, it needs to start there and then build a range going down. Comma, we don't need to move this original reference here up and down any rows, so we just leave a bank, comma. We don't need to move that original reference there over left or right, any column, so we hit column. And the height, what is the height going to be? Well, we already built our table over there. And so we'll use VLOOKUP to go over and get the number that it needs to go down. Remember, our table over here, that reference 1 has an 8 there. And that would be the exact argument we need for height, right? So we'll do VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP. And what are we going to look up? This, because that's in the first column of that table over there. Comma, and what is our, whoops. Luckily, I can uh, control Z right in the middle of the formula. Ooh, let me delete that. Yuck. I meant to point to that. Mm. Right? So our table array, I forgot what I named it. Well, we can use the F3 key. And there it is, ref NO. So that's the table, comma. And the column index is 2, comma. And what are we looking up? We're looking up an exact match because we're looking up words. So I'm going to put 0, close parentheses. So now here's our offset screen tip, right? We did our reference row column. We skipped that. So now we got the height. The height is the VLOOKUP comma. And our width is going to be 1 because we only our, our range here is only going to be one column wide. And then close parentheses. No, no, no. Uh, close parentheses on the offset. So now we have our uh, range that the min will look at. Now, we have to look at our if and what's remaining. That's what's true, but let's put a comma. What if it's false, which means they're equal? Then we want the cell one above. For example, when the formula is right here, we've already determined from that whole range that 1 is the min, right? So when it's here and it sees that these are the same, we just want to look up 1 above. So we'll put 1 cell above. And right here, it won't matter because there is a chain. Th these two are not different, so it won't even bother looking there. Now we close parentheses on the if and close parentheses on the, in, the min and control enter and double click and send it down. That is amazing. And we can check it out down here. Uh, if we look in our 13 range, 2 is the highest priority. When we come down here to 5s, uh, those are all fives. We come down here. Oh, we got this container. Reference five is one. Reference six is one. And so it worked all the way down. Two cool ideas in this video is what to do at um, when you have a sorted list and you want a, a different part of the formula for every time that the two items are not the same in a sorted list. And then we saw the offset uh, and, and VLOOKUP used inside of offset. All right. VLOOKUP used inside of offset. Sometimes I talk too fast. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.